Okay, we're back again for Evan of Kill 2022. It's now day 16. Wow, crazy to think there's only 10 days left for Evan of Code. And even more disappointed to think I haven't scored any points in the past almost 10 days, probably. Um, yesterday was definitely a gauntlet. I feel like I got baited by the other sorts of geometry puzzles before. I think I was just surprised to see such a tricky puzzle on, on day 15 on a weekday. Um, on the other hand, I am happy that I got it without looking at spoilers and then thought about it some more and came up with an even better solution, I think, for both part uh, 1 and 2. So that's now in the Git repo where I store all the Evan of Code stuff. Um, but yeah, hoping to bounce back again today. Um, and not get stumped on stuff like that. I anticipate a bit of an easier problem. I almost am thinking this would be a good day for them, uh, for Eric to have brought back the VM stuff. So this might happen. Um, I hope the do 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 was nothing wrong. I think it's just my. Some random loose USB cable that isn't my keyboard or mouse, and those are the important ones. Okay. Uh-oh, it's a flow problem. Is it? Uh, I don't have my flow algorithms ready. Just press it later. Uh, you start off A, but it's damage your jams for rate zero. Okay, is it a flow question?
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, they begin close, it's damage is jams, we are at AA. Uh, you could spend one minute moving to Valve VB, another minute opening it. 13. a minute to move to something and then oh okay I see state, I guess. Most possible pressure in 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, what state do we want to store here? We want current location uh, and time, I guess. total. We're at start, time is at zero, pressure is at zero. And you're f okay, you, so you, at every step you either open it or you, you transition. So Actually, just want to store what things are open. So we can do like 
this. These are all unique names, so we'll just uh, we'll just resort that string, I guess. So uh, I guess open. Um, and if we've if we've seen the opens before, we just don't bother exploring. This is our state, right? If we've seen this before, we continue. I think this might be okay. Otherwise, we'll have to compute that. Um, so we can either move at any given point in time for a uh, neighbor in graph of where we are currently. We can move to that location. So horizon dot append uh, new place 10 plus 1 and same level of opens. Or we can open the node. Um, I guess uh, if not in opens. That substring search should work. Horizon dot append. Uh, I think you can just sort of string in line, right? It's our current location. Uh, time plus one, and then we do opens. We append our current string, and then we resort this. Oh, yes, it's gonna be annoying. I guess we can just use a maybe a frozen set. Have to check, uh, we have to check the time that we open things at, so I think we do need to just compute pressure at the time of... Okay, so I guess my original intuition was correct. Um, but we key on this, we'll set this to max, is less than or equal to um, the pressure we could have gotten. We'll continue, um, otherwise this is the computation of current pressure. Um, pressure here gets computed as um, current pressure. We didn't open anything. And here we're adding uh, what the time left. We're on time one. So we, we would be on time two. So it's uh, 30 minus um, 30 minus um, the current time times uh, the, f the rate of what we just opened.
here's what we're getting infinitely stuck on. So this is the optimal thing to do. Uh, I guess we'll do... Oh. Uh, do that. Okay. Even though I think this is not giving me the expected answer. Oh, it is. Wait. I'm looking for a 1651. Somehow we are undershooting. So maybe our math is wrong? You can probably open many or all. It'd be nice to be able to reconstruct uh, just do something like this. Um, Closer, closer. So we want to open the... We're somehow not opening CC. Otherwise this looks like relatively the right thing to do. When would were we supposed to have open CC in this? Kind of here. Oh, oh, can we move? Oh, we can move backwards. I see. There is. It's bi-directional. Okay, of course. Um. It's really interesting that we like double back and only release CC at the end. Hmm. Uh... Like we're searching a pretty big space. Hmm. I don't think we ever double back is the problem, maybe. Maybe we don't key on 
time. If this... What if we... Because at any given point of time, we either would have wanted to move. Okay, now the search space is a little too big. Like, we, we need to filter it a bit more. This is not a reasonable search space. Like, logically, I think this makes sense. We open E. But we're getting the wrong number. Just track the pathing. Um, plus, um, um, we moved to new. Otherwise. Just kind of need to see this, I think. How come we threw out the option where we're supposed to be opening DD, is my question. This seems like a really promising approach. Opening AA seems awful. That's just a complete waste of time now. B. I mean, ugh, this, sh this should just be such a simple graph search question. Which is kind of annoying. Are we accidentally like throwing out? Wait. 
Did I misread? No. I mean, like, the main problem is that what we think is the most optimal. We're just not getting the right number, which is really weird. I mean, it's, sorry, it's not the number that's wrong, it's our exploration path, I guess. Because computing pressure this way knows it gives us... Logically, I think I'm keying the correct state. Release 20 pressure... D is open, release 20 pressure... Uh, oh, those windows again. I'm just really weirded out by the fact that it thinks the solution is like optimal somehow by wasting time trying to open the A branch instead of just immediately opening D. Supposed to be sixteen forty three. No, but like it's still the wrong pathing. I guess opening different things at different times is a different possible key, but it should just be the pressure that it's at now. Um, otherwise the state the search space still gets too big. That's my assumption at least. Like why are we throwing out all the possibilities where uh, the search space starts with D? The ones that open D first should be heavily weighted because we open them so early, though. Um, what if we just be a little less forgiving in the search space?
Nah, that's still too slow. So we're at t oops. This still seems to be valuing the wrong things. Which is a curiosity. Um, like, I guess we are exploring further in time, which is good. Maybe we should actually be not queuing off of time, but off of. We should just greedily be doing. The. 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 Would it be the most pressure? You just greedily try to explore the top path? Maybe. I guess it's worth a shot. Um, it's pressure. Somehow we get an even worse result here. Um, questionable, 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 questionable. Are we opening the right things? 
Definitely not. Why are all these things trying to open other gates first? It's if we moved somewhere. I'm pretty sure this is actually the right computation, right? Because we if the if we open it, we get it for twenty nine. Time starts at zero. Like, okay. Are we doing the backtracking correct? Uh. I mean, sorry, not backtracking. Are we just constructing this correctly? I mean, yes. Other than we're like doubling up, which is fine. Does this seem right? Oh wait, no, you can't double back. It's it's just it's a, they're they're one way, right? You move to D, and then from D you can't you go to C. C goes to B. Oh no, it doesn't matter. It, it already... It just gives you all the possible positions. I see, okay. So that wasn't the problem. Um, I mean, if that's not the problem... Why... Why graph search no work? I feel like... It's just easier to conceptualize this. Uh, by shaking the problem space. Is this correct first of all? Um, DD is flow 20, we moved there in minute 2 and then we lasted. We opened it. 1. It's 4 minutes, so 28 times 3. 2, and then 2 more remaining minutes. So that it that gets our 2 times 20, so that looks correct. And then we do get something better if we increase this because we get one more tick of opening something up. From D, I mean, couldn't we move to D, open D, move to uh, C, open C, and then that would still be bigger than 60? Oh, am I early? I think this should be here. Huh. I feel like we should 
be seeing D, open D, uh, and then another move. Like, wait, why would we be stuck anyways? How could this possibly be the best option? Um, okay, our state here is time. Okay, like, okay, I originally didn't really want to do this, but maybe it is actually the, the thing. It's the time we opened it at. Are the unique states, and then we just... If we've seen this current state at an earlier time... No, because that doesn't make sense. How could there be nothing else to explore from here? Um, okay, like the state is in here. Oh, oh, we we ugh, we're terminating early on it. Oh my god. Oh wait. But we can't continue reopening. Okay, 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 wait. Was it literally that one single continue statement? Oh god, if it's that, it's gonna be upsetting. <laughs> I think that's closer, I feel. Like, this is a lot more reasonable. best possible solution here? Probably. You want to open that and then 3 is bigger than that? Sure. I can accept that. What if we... Go back to just a BFS because this is too confusing for me to wrap my head around. Um, and if we increase this even more... This is more efficient because we go back to A and then to B. We open B for one tick is 13, which is better than opening E for two. We get B for one, which is 13 times four, because one, two, Six. We opened you on two, so you get 40, and we opened you on five, and it's six seconds, so we got uh, one. I mean, this seems reasonable. The curiosity is 
that how come as we go to longer and longer time intervals, we start to lose out on Like, this is basically the solution. Well, other than not wanting to open B. Space is different. 16, 29. Hmm. Like, I is. How much is J worth? J's worth 21. But if you're at A, for sure you want to go open D for that. This just doesn't make any sense. So, like, we're throwing out some good options somewhere. option is opening D, D as soon as possible or at least this option doesn't make sense at all because at this point you we're just going to open B first before D but D is just objectively worth more the search space becomes too big. I mean this is a it's gonna this this arrives at the right solution, right? We open D, then uh, J and then uh, it's just so many possibilities to prune because so maybe it is something like heuristic based. We go back to E, we open E. And then we're gonna want we we open C and then we just have to get to the end, right? I'm just gonna let this run because I think I do want to get to the end just to confirm that the math uh, works correctly. Because this is the right path. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, but it's just way... not efficient enough. I feel like we need like a heuristic. Um, like this isn't good either, right? This is how we miss the answer. So... How do we like prune some possibilities but not too many? I think if we just, if you just store what you visited and you don't keep track of the pressures, you're not rewarding the highest priority path. And if you're storing when you visited each key, it's just way too slow. Command terminated. I wonder... oh, it probably went out of memory or something. That's, <laughs> that's funny. too hard to get to anything else that we haven't opened. A is A, F, G, I are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, it's the only things that have things that are open. Oh, what if we only prune things that are less? Oh my, don't tell me this was the answer. Shouldn't it be this? It assigns us a score. So you have to key on time, current position, and what's open for sure.
I don't see any way that this could be wrong. Let's try to do a smaller example again. Like, this gives me faith that it's reasonable. I just don't know what happens to these possibilities. I guess. Is it really like a like a heuristic thing? Like surely this is just pruning the search space in an intelligent manner and I just can't think of how to do it. These are things we've visited. If we're at a given point, space and time, and we've seen a certain set before, is it true that we shouldn't explore further? I think the answer is no, because we could have arrived. If we're at the same spot and we we're at the same time, and we've also like not improved on pressure, um, then I think that's that's when it becomes problematic, you know. Which is kind of what this is here. Except this does seem backwards. If we've seen this path before doing better than us. We want to continue. Right? Yeah, okay. I mean, I think that makes sense. And then, but once we start pumping this up, like the search space is pretty gigantic. Too many, too many things in the search space. So maybe it is. This, let's not, let's take the path out of things. I don't think we need that to convince ourselves anymore. Oh, wait. Actually, I probably do want it just because I'm finding this so difficult to reason about. Uh, you get uncommented, you get commented, you get uncommented, you get commented. Let's try this at this and see what we get. We get our 93. Question mark? Ugh. Thank you. 
pressure. Pressure, current, time, opens, path. Current, uh, pressure. Yeah. Okay. Now what's going on? Now what do you want from me? Pressure is less than breast pressure, yeah. Shouldn't we have hit this? We want to explore the promising things, right? Now pressures, we're storing the negative pressure.
but curious why this performs worse. Let's do the same thing again, where we do a small example. Like, this still seems right. The question is, is it efficient enough? My argument is not really. What if we do something completely dumb, where we take time out of this? I don't think this is good. Yeah, it's still not fast enough. Wow, a graph problem has me stumped. This is wild. Uh, I don't like all this stuff. D, open D, A, and then J is the next best thing, so... Like, this all makes sense. Like, for some reason, it starts favoring Thinks you can score better by going. I mean, maybe you can score better by going there. Ah, fine. Maybe it's. Maybe I should have just done this from the start. I mean, this will probably work. We don't do a frozen set to represent the state of what we've seen. We pick the ordering of the doors. Um, we use a tuple here so that it's actually ordered. And then new, uh, new open is going to be the tuple of, oh god, how do, how do we want to do this? just gets us the right answer. But I think the search space just becomes too big. Again. Yeah, we use we can use ordering as a rough heuristic. Stop appending the path to it. So let's maybe let's try to make these adjustments. this way.
Okay, well we got the right answer here. Probably should have just done something like this in the first place, but the real question is like, is it fast enough for the actual input? Like, my guess is no, is the problem. Maybe we can try it. Just let that run and see what happens, I suppose. Like, the state has to be absolutely massive. Maybe the trick is... A lot of these... Are kind of just passage. Maybe you shrink? Oh, ugh, you probably want to prune the search space by... Oh, okay. So I think the trick is you prune the search space by... Um, there's a lot of zero flows in here, so you just shrink the graph. Um, you have to compress the graph representation. So... Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, let's just... Let's try again. Um, uh, probably should have taken to look at the input before. Because we only actually care about certain parts of the graph, so we want to kind of compress this representation, I think. Um, so let's do this. We start at. AA always has. Okay, so. That's gonna be too slow. Hopefully that leaving that running doesn't crash my my docker. My WSL. So let's do it this way. Okay. We have a set of a bunch of things. We have many possible starting locations. Okay. If start is um is AA, we actually want to say that all possible starting nodes mm, okay let's first think about which nodes are actually relevant to get to so I think we do one search to get to all the relevant okay Okay, okay, okay. This is a doable question now. We actually have something useful to go off of. In before, everyone has already figured this one out. So we'll do one search to figure out first how to get from the start to every possible node as quick as possible. Uh, and we consider those the, the distances. Um, so. Start. Uh, okay. So, uh, and then our thing is gonna be the deck, and it's gonna be uh, the start location and zero. And we we just want to copy the distances to get every possible thing. Um, cur uh, this equals. Uh, see, uh, horizon dot top left. If current scene continue um, for uh, ending graph cur uh, horizon dot append. Yeah, we append uh, the next node and um, this is plus one. Otherwise, we want to say, um, scene.add cur, and also I want to yield 
the pairing of Kerr and the distance. Okay, uh, does this get us something good? What do you mean it's not interval? Unpack non iterable int object. Oh. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we get our distances from the start to each possible thing. So we also can do that here. So we get the distances, how to get to each like reasonable node from the start. Then we care about cares. It's going to be the set of all nodes that have a non-zero flow rate. So if rate is greater than zero, um, here's dot, uh, I don't know, start equals true. So let's do that. Remember, we only care about certain nodes in this representation, basically. And we want to figure out the distances between all of those nodes. We want to figure out the distances from the start locations, and then also the distances from um, the. Oh, let's do that. Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm on. A, I'm still on the uh, three-minute delay, <laughs> so, and I kind of had chat cover because I didn't want to get it spoiled. But I think I figured out the trick to this question. Um, we have to basically compress this graph with a bunch of useless tunnels, uh, which is unweighted, into a directed, uh, or sorry, a, a weighted graph instead, where we want to figure out, like, let's get out of A. We never want to waste time in A. The, the optimal strategy is to get to a valve with a non-zero flow rate as quickly as possible, turn it on, and then the beeline to every single other node that has a non-zero flow rate. So we... can do a really suboptimal dykes... like... I mean, it's like technically a dykes but I'm too lazy to have that as a reference right now. So I think we can just um, do it this way. So let's do this. We want to figure out um, if cur equals end return um, this. So uh, so it'll be for um, care in cares. Um, this will be start to uh, care. It's going to be this set. Um, st uh, start to care of that care node. It's going to be equal to BFSing the graph starting at AA to the care. So this tells us how how long it takes to get to um, each starting location that's actually relevant. So for example, uh, here we can get to BB in one step, which is true. We can get to CC in two steps through uh, bypassing DD. We get to DD in one step, etc. Now we want to construct another graph, care to care, um, where, let's do it this way, I guess. Um, this is kind of not optimal, but for care and cares, uh, I guess we just want the different combinations. 
No, we want the different permutations, I guess. Uh, for A, B in permutations of cares, uh, two, um, let's just make sure this is kind of what we want. Seems reasonable enough. Um, we will say uh, distance from A to B is going to be BFSing the graph starting at A to B, and then we'll say care to care. Um, and we're going to add this new tuple saying from A we can get to B in that distance. Just see if this kind of gets us reasonable numbers. Yeah, so these are the distances. We can get to B to C in this, we can get to C to B in this. Uh, if we run that in our bigger graph here, we now have this adjacency list on um, getting from different nodes to other nodes. On this smaller thing, now we can do a much more compressed um, search where I think. Is it valid to do a BFS? No. I think we still want to do a... Um, well, I guess... Does BFS work here? No, we want to do a... Uh, T-based thing based on time. I believe. Um, so now, now that we have this compressed search space, Let's do this. So, horizon is going to be empty. And the starting locations and times are going to be based on our start to care timings. So, um, for basically, um, KB in start to care of um, the items. So this will be the node and the time it takes to get to that starting node. We're going to append this, like, the state object is going to be um, the time, because we have to walk over to that. It's going to be the node, and then it's going to be the amount of pressure, and then it's going to be the uh, open keys, so... A frozen set. And we're going to append that state. We then, I think, no, oh. so, yeah, this is, our state is time, node, time, current, pressure, um, opened. And then we want to prioritize visiting things in the past, I guess because we'd rather explore possibilities in the past than in the future. Um, so... We'll do this, and then we'll say... Um, Q.Tpify... The horizon. I think we might actually want to keep track of negative time. We don't actually care about a star location. Oh no, it, it's a min heap, so we do want to do that. Okay, so we heapify it. Now we do this thing. So the current time, current pressure, uh, opened is going to be uh, heap q dot heap pop of our horizon and yep, pretty good. We're going back in time. So if we have seen 
this state before. If this is uh, bigger than our current pressure, we'll continue. Otherwise, I think this is still fine to do. If this is, I think, still fine to do as well. This is fine. But the state transition is what's different in this case. We either open... Um, okay, so when we do a move, we don't actually move in graph, we move in care to care. And this tuple unpacks into uh, the next node and the distance to get there. And we take distance amount of time to move. Um, this still stays the same. We're using the frozen set again, though. So let's do this. And remove this. Um. So we started with all of these different things. Um, why did we not add any neighbors? Like heap Q dot heap push. So we we never tried opening things for some reason. I guess. Oh, this should be a small number. Paths don't matter. We should definitely make sure our state is right. Which it currently is not. We want our state to be in the form of time plus distance. Um, the next node, pressure, and the things that are opened. Likewise here, we want our next state to be um, time plus one. It took us to open it up the current node, uh, which is current, because we didn't move, how much we opened it by, and the new set of open things. Okay, um, I believe. This is still taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought this would run really quickly. Pretty sure this is more efficient because we never visit uh, 
like useless spots basically. Oh, I guess uh, that's another termination thing, right? If um, length of opens is equal to length of cares, we don't need to explore any further. a lot better. Um, BB can go to C, it can go to D, it can go to E, it can go to H, it can go to J, and that's all that matters. But the search space is still so large for some reason. But I'm kind of just curious why that is. Why are there so many, like, pointless things in the queue? Hello? Or, like, we're seeing so many repeated entries. Should these not be being filtered out? Hello? Oh. I thought this was good enough state filtering, huh? Like, this is a set of things we've seen. I don't believe, like, at time 6 you haven't, like, you're exploring this option so many times. Like this should not be taking this long to run. This should be very fast. Kind of odd. I think this optimization isn't necessary. I think this is for us for leaving.
What if we just print what we're considering after stuff? Yeah, see this definitely seems wrong now to me. Because we're not pruning the state anymore, right? Could it not be in there? It's literally. Search space is too big. But I feel like a lot of it is just pointless. Okay, well, I'm definitely <laughs> not ending the stream early because I know I use definitely the, the graph compression is the trick but the question is why are there so many um, basically useless Again, we're getting this is this is really fast. I mean it's the wrong number, but it's really fast. Maybe we will go... Oh. No. I'm liking the music section, though. Let's do this. Let's do 
this. Sixteen fifty one. Okay. Give me the answer. You are close. You're so close. Think harder, computer. Okay. Well, while well, that happens. Oh. I mean, this this was working for the sample, right? Yeah, 1651, we visited uh, D, and then we opened B, and then we opened J, and then we opened H, and then we opened E, and then C. And we got this as the answer. Cool. Um, I don't know how much quicker you can you can make this other than current no time open like we're just treating the scene as scene again so that's pretty close to efficient oh i mean pff. uh like I guess it's the fact that we're searching the substring every time is slow. I mean, we'd rather it be a set, but then how do how do we do that? We want the distinctness of it to construct it, but then maybe we also pick the ordering. So we put the path back? Question mark? Oh, is this an answer? Yeah, it's an answer. Okay, what's part two? Um, okay, I mean that took too long, so I, I kind of do want to just improve this. We will key on opens and also path. Path gives us the ordering. Uh, a new open gives us a frozen set of current a plus or with uh, opens and so this is new open new path how does this perform like 
surely this is at least a bit better. Um, anyways, it would take you four minutes to teach an elephant how to open the right valves in the right order. We both have 26 minutes. So the elephant is just like another thing in the search, right? And we're down to 26 minutes. I guess this means we have a different the state transitions like a little more complicated but we can use similar logic um, let's copy this uh, to p1 and then resumes trying to come up with a solution Okay, this actually wasn't that much faster, hilariously. Um, so now there's an elephant. Um, we have 26 minutes. And the elephant has a bunch of possible starting positions too. Um, I mean, I guess the hard part is that to seed the initial values, we need to figure out what time we're at and possible. Like, we only want to do state transitions like this, I think. It's a fun problem, though. It's like a. So this is just adding more dimensions to the to the state search. So the hard part is moving us all to the initial values and then you have possible state transitions, right? As soon as you're in if both people are in a valid position, you should stop computing the in-betweens, basically. So maybe there's a better way to do that, actually. Rather than seeding these initial values like that. Because as is, is kind of complicated. So, what if we just started like this? Just always start at AA. And then... move short if, um, let's see, if current position isn't in things we care about, then we can move by one, right? So it's the old logic here of this in graph of the transition and moving by one. Otherwise, we always try to do these state transitions instead. So, we don't care about you, we don't care about you. Um, where's the last path? Um,
What happened here? What is going on? Why is there... Oh... Mm, wait... <laughs> I am very confused. This graph looks correct. Oh, right. This isn't this, it's just that. Alright, fine. Okay, this gets us the correct values to start with, so now we have a way to see the elephant movement. So we have... Possible state transitions are... We, we move, elephant moves. Okay. So... This gave us the right value, right? As inefficient as it might be? Okay. So, we have... Uh, move, move is a possibility. Uh, we have... Move, open. We have open, move. And we have open, open. This is... U... Elephant. We both start at AA with our elephant friend. U L. Such an interesting problem. So, move moves are a possibility. Um, time always. Oh, God, this. Uh, what is the best way to do this? Because we kind of want to only move in. Oh, this is really annoying. We can't... Like, using the compressed graph is a lot harder for this part. Because the elephant could be moving while like we're in state transition all the way over. So if it's only 26 minutes, is that small enough to just do these single state transitions instead? I mean, I think that's worth a shot, just con considering. So... is. So we're moving on both, right? Um, new state is going to be uh, time plus one, uh, the new positions of each of us. Uh, we didn't change anything here. So it's like that. Another possibility is we open and Elephant moves. Uh, 
Um, so if you not in opens. Oh wait, I just. Wow, I realized that that this worked, but there could have been a bug where the path string that gets constructed is like in the middle and it errantly detects that we've seen something before. That's let's uh let's patch that bug by putting a space in between. Holy wow! Can't believe that worked out. So if that is a possibility, then. This becomes this, and then we do a loop through the elephant positions because the elephant moves. Um, next elephant in draft elephant positions. Time ticks up by one. We stay where we are. New elephant is there, and the new things that are opened are here, and we push that state. Um, otherwise, it's similar for the elephant, um, except we're opening that place where the elephant is, and we're s moving based on us, so it's a new you. Elephant stays fixed, otherwise we might be able to do a double open. Um, I guess double open has to be here. Uh, we're double opening, so... Deterministic. I wonder if this will become a problem. Oh no. Oh, I mean, I guess staying still is a possibility. So... Let's see. You have a bunch of possibilities, and the elephant has a bunch of possibilities. And we kind of have to permute all of them. 
also staying put is an option. I mean, if, if, if you can solve this with the compressed graph somehow, I think the fact that you might not always want to move is what makes this problem tricky. Like here, we don't have to dance around or move anywhere, right? Um, so, there's probably like a cleaner way to implement this. We have like a lot of next use. These are um, Next position, next pressure, next open. And then the logic is like similar to. No, I guess that's wrong. So, what can we do? We can move, we can open, or we can stay. Right? So. This should be delta pressure. So in these cases, we stay still. Um, but we, we move, no pressure, and nothing gets changed. Cases where we open, if uh, you not in opens, then we can open. Uh, opening computation is this. I'm gonna be pretty disappointed when I code this all up and um, it's not actually the like optimal way to do things, or like it's not actually fast enough. So let's do this. We stay where we are. We add extra amount and we add this amount. Okay. Another possibility is that we just stay. I guess we can just code in the stay here. But where we are, we added nothing and we added nothing. We do a similar computation for the elephant. Um, Let's see what we did here. Yeah, so we could have either moved or opened things up on both us and the elephant. So now I guess we take the Cartesian product of these things. Um, because we could do any permutation of these moves. 
next state is going to... We always move forward in time by one. We will end up in this spot. The elephant ends up in this spot. The new pressure is going to be current pressure plus this plus this. And the new open is going to be opens plus this plus this. Ooh. Something tells me I am very much overcomplicating this. Nobody thinks we're overshooting. Oh, I guess that's because... Did we cheat? We like, yeah, we like double opened something here. Um, so we're not allowed to double open. from double opening, we just always give ourselves priority to open something up. This still feels too slow. Someone opened DD. We open JJ. Um, and then what happens next? Oh, elephant skips EE. Yeah, so our space is too big. We're not pruning enough. graph compression would help here, but I'm pretty sure the real input what happens.
maybe we slightly optimize by saying, oh, I mean it, it hit the the right solution here. So it does get there. I mean that's reassuring. What if we optimize by saying um, if you in cares? Like we don't try to open up how much smaller is the search space? At eleven we're at three ninety thousand? Oh, this is much smaller. Okay, so this is already dumb. How do you reload a file in Vim? You just re-edit it? I guess that was that already slightly improves things, not trying to open up something that is already open. Or something that opening doesn't have an impact on. But the main question is, can we do even better in reducing the search space? We can't do the graph compression anymore. Um, Is the standing still thing important? I think it is. How many doors are actually relevant here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I mean, valves. Yeah, it's a decent amount of stuff to crunch through. At least it will give us the right value at a certain point in time, but I think it'll take a long time. I forget, does... Like, ordering mattered, right? That That's what was problematic. Turning this into a frozen set? I've been staring at this problem for way too long. Turning this into a frozen set is a no, no bueno? No bueno? I think so, right? This is what was making it so we were getting the wrong values.
1907. Hey, look at that, I got the right answer on the sample. The problem is this. See, yeah, it doesn't get the right answer here. When we don't keep ordering. is really weird. Wait, I s aren't dictionaries ordered in Search space is too big, it's not it's not gonna fly. Maybe we do move them in the compressed graph, but we track times differently. We track the time of us and the time of the elephant. But then, how do we maintain priority? Because the search space is way too big. possible start locations and then once we're there we only jump by interesting next states oh I mean it's worth a shot I feel like this doesn't even filter out enough values, is the weird part. stand still. Um, if we can do these baby steps, or we can move big. Distance. Distance takes us that much time.
Otherwise we open something up. Move small only if L uh, not in cares. We move big based on distance. much move distance moved by this much we move by one we move by dist here it takes us one to open and it takes us one to open so this is uh, you position you time you pressure and you open and this is UP. Um, just do it this way. Um, you position, you time, you pressure, you open is A. All the same, but replace uh, Y with E. B. The next, st my indentation is wrong, which makes me think that I have something going on here. The next state is um, time plus the time delta. Time plus the elephant time delta. Our next position. Elephant position. that I can't even like mentally track what's going on. That's the path, that's, I mean, 
I'm just curious why. TY and TE are like allegedly. Like these numbers have to. They start at zero. How can these numbers here all just be one? Oh, did I not add things? Up? Should be fine. These always have non zero deltas. supposed to be TY. I'm glad I I'm glad these variable names really help. Um this should be uh the current time for average is ET. Oh my god this is awful. Search space is huge. We're using so much swap space. Oh no, that's not good. It's gonna kill my thing. No more. Uh, I could feel the lag quitting Vim there. Like, I think this helps by disallowing, um... We disallow moving small. But maybe we're punishing ourselves by allowing us always not to move. I'm trying to justify whether we should always allow that type of movement. This is this a smaller search space on 811? Oh, much smaller. Well, not much smaller. We're fewer than 10 million here, versus here we're at 20 million.
And then I feel like the other optimization on top of this is uh, we're just done so if um, if length of uh, length of opens is greater than or equal to length of cares times three because they're all double characters long. We're just done so. Like no reason to continue exploring those possibilities, right? correctly? That's what I'm curious about. Because at a certain point we should have made enough small... M like we shouldn't be exploring uh, like small move to small move possibilities anymore. I think that's still the problem, probably. So maybe we do have to do something similar to... the initial state. Does that help us at all? We jump ourselves to the initial first state. Unpack non iterable int object. Uh, 
am I not allowed to do this? Can't I just pass an iterable in? We've been at this for a while, but I don't feel tired. This is like a fun problem for some reason. I guess, would we always want to start a different... I'm just confused what's stopping the product function from returning stuff. really weirdly, I guess. Um, it's first is the you uh, you distance and elephant elephant distance. space any smaller what search space is bigger hello upset about that though. I'm mostly surprised that trying to remove uh, small steps actually slowing stuff down. Re evaluating 7 million. Oh, I think should it take that long? Is it 
because Like we probably shouldn't have any small movements. On this example, we shouldn't have any small movements even like this far in, I think. But we do, so that's problematic. We should just be moving Like how could we still be stuck at a AA after time 8 We definitely should have just moved into a different spot And not even gotten there Because we have these big movements Just at night because I don't think those problems are actually that complicated. Um, I did say that about the last one too. Um, like by this point in time, we should not be. Is it because we're allowing standing still? No, we disallow standing still. So only very limited movements should be happening that... Um, there should only be very limited movements happening. Like, we're at time 6-6, six, six, like 6-3 six, here. There's no excuse to be at... Um, 
tunnels like I at that point. Oh, I guess that's because they got trapped. They're going back and forth between two. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're going back and forth between two. Because we allow the short hop. But I thought seeding the initial state like didn't help. Okay, let me just uh do this real quick and try to not instinctively Oh my, my fingers were hovering over a git push. Do not want to push this garbage. I really thought it would just be pre-compute possible good starting timers. But I'm pretty sure when I tried that it was just like not good at all. Which is very weird to me. Structure I'm expecting this remark. Oh. Wait. Oh, it's not care to care, it's uh start to care. Yeah, okay, that looks better. I 
feel like there's no reason that this should be slower than um, the other thing. Like, yeah, it is tricky that... You and the elephant can be out of sync. That is the complication of the problem of moving two states at once on the compressed graph. But like I do like this, open DD, open JJ, it's like this, right? It's like a very promising approach. Maybe is it just that like there's no reason to do it as a heap? Are we just being pointless here? BBCC, yeah. We get stuck. I don't know what we're busy spinning on in this case. Why am I saying negative values? Hold up. I mean, that's a little concerning. Why are we revisiting things so frequently?
So this is the compressed graph, which looks fine. And then these are like different starting locations. These all seem right as well. Maybe we'll do it in the form of combinations. This is one, two, three, one, two, three. Like 30 million is the search space on each iteration. Ah, we're using. Hey, stop it. Oh, hey, why are you running too? You're using up all my precious RAM. These are the starting possibilities. That's fine. Maybe we don't perch by time, we perch by position and we key the current position on basically gets to about the same size as search space as before. So I don't think this is very fruitful. Oh, but all the valves are open at this point, so we're actually done so. Don't I have a done at this point. I guess... Like we're spending a lot of time in this loop where we're searching through the um trying to see if we've visited things already, but the ordering does seem to matter, which um I mean it makes sense. But I feel like it should be keyed on 
the ordering should be implicit based on the pressure. Maybe we can say the pressure is unique enough? And we're never going to see that same... No. That's awful. That's not it. Okay. Because this is a graph question, I want to try to figure it out, but logistically it is 3 in the morning, which I probably do have to call it quits for today, unfortunately. But I do not want to get spoiled on the question, so I'm going to try to avoid spoilers and think about this. But yeah, I, I think I do have to sleep. Unfortunately, so this will be the first day where I don't figure out a part of the puzzle. I probably got like brushed up against the solution. There probably is something clever. I'm not sure. I'm curious. Um, can before we call it for the night, take a look at this. Oh wow. Okay, so the solve rate actually is like pretty low for today. I think even on day on, on this day, like. By this point, there were a lot more people who had solved the problem. So this indeed is a tricky day. Um, I wonder what the trick might be. Um, like, we did a graph compression for part 1, which doesn't optimize away enough for part 2, unfortunately. Remind me again how fast our P1 was. Wait. Why why did part one work with frozen set? Was it fast because I was keeping track of the path and the frozen set for inclusion? Okay. Okay, we get to 26 pretty fast there. is pretty fast too. I don't think it's giving any advantage. Okay. I would have been very angry if that was the differentiating factor. Okay, well, I mean that's good to know. So, the graph compression definitely helps with, with part one. Uh, I guess just to summarize this video before I, I call it for the night is... This graph involves us moving a lot around this like map of different valves that connect around with tunnels to each of them. But we don't need to simulate these steps where we're walking between, say, going from A um, to I to get to J. J is a good valve to get to because we want to turn it on as soon as possible. We have to go through I in the middle, which we would never want to turn on because it has a flow rate of zero. And so the intuition here is that we want to jump in our search space. Don't bother storing the state of being at I 
Just say we move from I to J directly and turn it on. Oh. Wait, maybe we just compress the state even more. Wait, does that work? Oh my god, if it's... Okay, I, need, I must stay awake. Does that work? Um... What am I trying? I want to not... If we move somewhere, we always want to open it. Let's just assume that. So we want to move there and then open it up, like so. Um. want to start at a node. And open it up, which is... Max, time, minus, uh, dist, times, uh, it's called anymore. I haven't referenced this in years. Rates. really fast with a really fast search space so the starting time is so it takes us one to get here we would say we turned it on and how much did we get out of that we get that times that Incorrect, we should not be at 65 if we got there at it's turn two, we turned it on, we had to walk there and then turn it on. We have I think minus one. If our maximum is six, we went there, we turned it on.
actually. The search space is definitely small. I think this is... I like how fast this is, so this feels promising. be releasing pressure. Oh, I'm not adding ourselves to the set. This is the right way to think about the problem now. places we could move if it's not in the open oh ugh this is the wrong map it's the next node closer Here again, um, we somehow like double visited ourselves. Not sure how that's possible. 
So we should start having already gone to that node, visited it. We're now at that node. It caught, we got this much pressure out of it. And it should be in the state, no? Is it that we end up doubling up? Oh, and and good. No, we're going there. We're adding you the current set of things that are open. Like this compressed graph representation is definitely promising. One, two, three, four, five. This feels close. I just don't understand how we get into... Oh, when the double visits went away. Okay, let's go back to testing a smaller example. Math 
seems reasonable. 20, we move back, we get 13 times 2 on top of that, so we should get 20. Yeah. Wonder what's wrong. We are very much over counting somewhere. Looks like it's time to boil up. Oh, I forgot. We open D, we open B, we open J, we open H, we open E, and then we open C, right? So this was correct, it's just the math is wrong. No way this is it. We're not off by like a multiple of stuff. But I guess not the problem. very curious because the pathing is definitely correct now Math is correct on on the smaller example. Actually, oh yeah, I meant to. That's how 
much flow we contribute. Here we would have got 100 plus 3x because there's only 3 more minutes left. Yeah. To travel between it, we have to take that much time and then we. One more to open it up. That's the new path. Oh. 
guess. Here and also here, right? Okay, there's a discrepancy here. We visit node B at time 5, because we went, I guess, from D to C to B. We are at D at 2, and then we had to move to C to B to bring us to 4, and then we went there for 1. We opened it for 5, so we got to reap the benefits for f um, 1 plus 2. Why is the math for the E one correct? Three, how do we get to E? We go there directly. We could go to E directly. We open it on turn. is the turn it opens. And the turn it opens dictates how much stuff we get out of it. So we had to double walk there, so we only get one thing out of it. That's the correct computation. Oh, it's not time, it should be the distance to get there. somehow wrong on the sample right on the real input but I guess this is a promising approach I am way too tired to code it up though for part two but I kind of like this improved graph compression where you just always try to go to a room and open a door there's no reason you would go beeline to a room and not open a door um, it is curious that it's wrong on the it undershoots this by 12, which isn't one of these numbers. For some reason, we never go from E to C at the very end. 
Oh, maybe it's because of this. Yeah, okay, 1651. Okay, so we have this approach here. This is very promising, actually. We've been at it for this long. Maybe we just code this up. Because it's actually not too bad. state transition is always we both want to go somewhere
this elephant time. This is still you. This is new. Certainly runs quickly. It even munches through this quickly? Question mark? Maybe not. Oh, the times aren't updated correctly. These are all our start positions with the timings to find on them. I guess we simultaneously turn on B and D at the same time, which is good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We open all of them, it's just the math is wrong. I don't know why I tried to do both state transitions at the same time before, that was absurdly complicated. Should be 40 times 4 times 20 plus uh, 4 times 13, which is uh, 52 plus 80, which is that. Or alternatively, this could have been a sense. This is represented. This is so 
132, and then one of us walked from, I guess it would have been from D to E, which is two steps, and we turned on E, which meant it stayed on for two, so we should be six more. Oh, but... So this is wrong. This should only be... plus six. We moved the elephant and we computed the wrong... Oh, because it's supposed to be NT. Seventeen oh seven. Okay. Now we run it. This math shall be correct. How many relevant doors total is it? Pretty close. Oh, what, what a problem. I don't know why I didn't think of the better graph compression earlier. We got like halfway there, but, and it was good enough to stumble through the part one, but then for part two it was not sufficient at all. A very interesting problem though. Um, while it runs, maybe it's worth trying to explain what's going on. I'm not going to explain the code, but just the general concept. Um, so, um, A is connected. So you have all of these uh, different nodes that are connected in various ways. C is connected to here. But actually, the important parts of the network are the ones whose valves have flow rates. So for example, B has a flow rate, C has a flow rate, D has a flow rate. Um, I we don't care about. Let's just draw one more for the sake of it. E is connected to D and F? Sure. Uh. This is E, and F is like here. Um, e has flow, so we care. F doesn't have flow, so we don't care. The goal of the problem is all of these little in-betweens that cost one to walk between one amount of time and then also we would never want to try turning them on or waste time sitting at them are pointless what we want to do is instead turn this into a weighted graph that looks like this where we know uh i guess i guess it's more complicated than that we want to turn this into a fully connected graph where we know the weights of um, the distances between nodes. So, to go from D to E, it costs us 1. To go from D to C, it costs us 2. To go from D to B, it costs us 2. To go here, it costs us 1. And to go from E to C, it costs us 1, 2, 3. And to go from E to B, it costs us 1, 2, 3 as well. So this is our new smaller graph, and the number of state transitions in this graph here is significantly um, less than the number of state transitions um, in the full graph, because we don't waste time dilly-dallying, basically. So rather than uh, a sample exploration being I move from here to here in one time step, you know, 
all possible possibilities from there because it's exponential get pushed into the horizon. Then I go from here to here. Then I have to decide, oh, do I move here or do I open here? No, we always want to move between um, nodes and add plus one and just say the single action you can take is going from one node to another node and then also opening the valve. This also means there's an optimization you can make where you don't try to revisit any given node once its valve has been opened. And because this new compressed graph is fully connected, you can just pick the next node to try to get to and open its valve instantaneously without walking through an exponential branching number of possibilities for um, the next thing to look at. Now, I'm concerned that uh, this has not completed yet, and we're using a lot of RAM. But this should be like the max, like close to the upper bound on how many valves need to be opened, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. only open 10 so far. Wow, so this isn't even the full solution. I guess this isn't good enough on the full input. Like I don't know how to make... I can't think of the faster optimization on top of this, unfortunately. And this is gonna eat all of my swap. So I don't think this is good to just keep running. Maybe there's one more optimization to make on top of this. Oh, it's frustrating. We're so close. We're very close. I honestly should have just... definitely wasn't it because it didn't visit all the valves. So we can for sure get a more optimal value based on um, opening a valve. Okay, how do we trim down the state even more? I feel like we don't. This is... Oh. I was gonna say this isn't even a graph search after all. At all. This is just... So the optimization here I think is you don't even have to structure as a search. You just try to permute... Well... This many vowels? It's like 14 vowels? How many permutations of that? 
How many ways can you order that many things? And that becomes the path that you take, and you just take the most optimal route to turn all of those on as soon as possible and compute what it is. Um, in this case, though, You could generate a permutation. I wonder. Uh, what? I can't do the math right now. So. Close enough that the sample runs insanely quickly. But the search space still blows up a little too big for the real deal. Which I think is the key problem. like 2 million things on the horizon. Sister space even more is my question. even really be a property of the key? anything 2079 we're at like 
two mil versus here we're at. It's not the. It's like the same. Opens and path both in the key. That's kind of pointless now. is at one one five seven five eighty. It's exactly the same. Yeah, I can't seem to think of the final optimization, so I'm going to call it because I need to sleep and it is Friday now, but it was not Friday last night, meaning there is work tomorrow. So I'm going to be a somewhat responsible adult and go to bed, but thank you for watching. Um, I'm still going to try to avoid spoilers and figure out the answer to this uh, in the morning if this doesn't complete overnight.